Hi everybody, it is day six of Vita, and today we are talking about our big fears. No, I did not put this off until in the evening because I didn't feel like talking about that stuff. I have no idea what you're talking about. And I kind of don't know what I'm about to talk about, which is like breaking one of the golden blogging rules. Here we go. I am afraid of tiny choices resulting in really big consequences. And I mean really simple things like I chose to walk a certain way home from the tea and thus getting mugged. That's dark. Like, but it's stuff like that. Like, really little things. Like, I chose to take the bus to work instead of the shuttle and get into a terrible car accident. Like, little things like that. That results in really big things. I guess that's, that's a pretty big fear. And I try to not think about that. I have friend who frequently says it is like dying isn't scary it's the other crazy shit that can happen that's not a direct quote it's my paraphrasing but it's that other crazy stuff that's scary and he's totally right um i guess that's where i'm going with that but on less of a dark note <laughs> i didn't even mean to do this but I'm afraid of the dark. I'm like super afraid of the dark. Like, I think it's because I might have mentioned this before, but it was from like watching The Shining too young or something. Like, I can't walk past doors that I can. I don't like to walk past doorways of dark rooms. Like, I can walk past them. I won't look in them because I, oh god, hot mess, hot mess. But like, even if I like, get up in the middle of the night, uh, like I'm getting a glass of water or something, I know my kitchen, I can walk around in the pretty much dark in my kitchen, and I don't have to turn that light on and put myself through that eh, feeling, but I do, because I'm scared. And any, like, kind of haunted house or whatever, I mean, as long as there's not people grabbing at your ankles, but, you know, whatever, I can handle all of, like, the super scary stuff until it's completely pitch black, and then I kind of lose my shit kind of a lot. I feel like that's terrible information to give out to people. I have a love-hate relationship with scary stuff. I really like being scared, but it's the aftermath where, like, my imagination, like, runs away with all of that. I mean, I get into it and I get really scared at the time because I'm all about suspension of disbelief. But then afterwards, like, what my takeaway is that clearly the difference between whether or not there's a serial killer present is whether or not it's dark. Like, that's... That, doesn't that make sense to you? I can't even talk about that old, like, urban legend, if that's even what it is. If it's not an urban legend, I don't want to know. Don't you breathe a word if it's not an urban legend. About the guy that, no, there was a girl, like, sleeping in her bed, and the next day, they, I, I don't, I don't even know how it goes. All I know is that they found the imprint of a guy having been sitting in the, there was a dude hiding under the bed. That is my point. There was a dude hiding under the bed for a really, really long time. He was going to get her, which is why I always check under the bed when I check into the hotel rooms and the cabin, even though I'm not going to like what I find under there. I'm going to go to bed now, and I'll probably check under it after talking about this. And I don't need a nightlight. I have, like, the glow of my electronics. Good night. Oh my god, I just tried to Google the urban legend and I don't, why, why, why would I do that? There's images, there's even, no, no, duh.